Hey everybody, it's Zetalonix, and we're going to be working in 3D Studio Max for the first time. Um, the reason I'm switching through programs from Photoshop to Vegas to After Effects, now to 3D Studio, um, that's because I want to connect with every kind of editor out there, people that do 3D work, people that do graphics like Photoshop, people who do special effects and after effects and then you know people who edit like movies in Sony Vegas so I'm really trying to help everybody out here so I'm gonna show you guys how to create this kind of 3D text it has a front layer a back layer and these nice soft shadows being casted um this is just one outcome I made and for some reason the O got chopped up and a bunch of others so we're gonna try and fix that here now um see here's something else that I made it says subscribe I wonder why it's kinda weird and you see how it's um, made in 3D um, this is a very basic tutorial but um I rendered it out and this was the final outcome that I got from that it's um, has a nice backdrop. I render this in very, very terrible quality because I just wanted to render it out so I could begin this tutorial. So bear with me on that. So it has these um, shadows being casted. And on this one, I try to make there not be so much contrast. I really want there to be um, a dark black, this lightish gray, and then a gray background instead of on the Recon Live one where it was black and then white and the backdrop was mesh so this is what we're going to be creating and mm, I think you should listen to the text here I think it knows what it's saying so let's get started Alright, so here's the, um, the default canvas for 3D Studio Max. It shows your perspective in the bottom right corner, and then your front, top, and left wireframe views. So, so we're going to create a plane, which is basically our solid ground. I'm just going to adjust the color so it's easier for me to work with just for now, because white will be easier. So. Um, you want to click on your modify, and your modifier list, you're going to want to bend. Now, um, you want to bend the x-axis, and we're going to go in a negative direction to create this sort of ramp. Um, and the reason for this is, if we were using a flat surface, and I was to be looking at it, uh, very terrible at this right now. Our cam is gonna give up, and I'll just explain it more verbally. Shift Z or yeah, Shift Z will adjust back on your view, like if you adjust your perspective. So, um, if we were to look at it on a straight line, black it'd be an empty background, so there'd be nothing there all you would have is a floor. Now if you have this ramp you um, are actually having something to look at. You have a base so that your text isn't just floating. It's on solid ground with the cast the shadows being casted and you have a background. Um and then you have, you know, your light to make everything blend and look realistic. So you can't just be working with a flat surface in a 3D program. So you're going to want to limit the effect and bump up the upper limit and this will keep one side solid and you want to keep the gradient side bent which is why that's the bent side. Now um, it's a very very sharp ramp and I don't know I don't I don't really skateboard but I don't know if I'd really want to slide down uh, such a strict ramp so on the width segment so let's bump it up I'm doing to do about 30 
I think that makes it look fine. Um, I'm gonna get into coloring everything in a second, so you're gonna have to bear with the solid white for now. Um, now I'm just going to hide this layer so that I can work with one thing at a time and I'll be able to concentrate on my text. Now, I'm just going to make this text say Ruth Thatcher. Um, size 25. I'm just going to leave it on Arial. So I think that looks fine for 3D text. Now you can see the text is straight up and down or from a top view. So if you were flying over in a helicopter you would see it as if it were imprinted in the ground. But that's not exactly how we want it. So angle snap toggle will allow us to move this and be able to get it to look perfect. And you want to move it 90 degrees and that wasn't 90 degrees. That's 90 because now it's flat on the top view. But on the left view you can still see it. So we're going to have to Oops. I have to bend it ninety more degrees. And that looks right. So now we have our text in place. And just I had a hard time learning this. If you have like a scroll zoom in, zoom out if you just click that you can move this around and if you hold out and cl um, click that you can just orbit and that'll make it a lot easier when you're working with your projects because it took me forever to figure this out in 3D Studio and it really started to get to me after a while so we're going to go into the modifier again and at, right under bend you'll see bevel and this is how we're going to get our 3D effect so ignore this whole top part because it's pretty much set to how you want it. And now level one, make like five, and I'll show you what this is now because we're just gonna orbit around, and this is the width of it, the width of your text. See how it gets wider, or you can make it go thinner. Um, I think five is fine because we're gonna have two layers. I mean, you can even make it thinner than that because we're gonna want to have a back layer pop out as in the other pictures. Um, now to get the real 3D effect we're gonna select second level and this will pop out a next level. Make it one. So now it's sixth in the height. The height of this text is six. Now the outline we're gonna want to do negative point five and that's where it's going to get the bevel effect the outline of it is going to be negative 0.5 so it's going to be going in you kind of can see it from this point of view if I zoom in over here see this is where it's um, the negative comes in right there so again with the shift Z and then control Z will undo so now I'm gonna get a nice top view on this you're just gonna shift and then click on your text and make it a copy if you're very organized you can just you can name your copy oh okay cancel Control Z. I actually moved it on the uh, Z axis. And I'm looking to move it back in X, like so. Copy it. All right. Now I'm gonna move it forward a little bit, though. Oh. Cancel. Um. Sorry, I was still holding Shift there. There's this um, line showing through which is bothering me, but it's fixed now. So now, um, on the second text 2 layer, 
we're going to unselect second level. 